Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker! Well, I've just uh, got off the back of reviewing a cider pop, which was uh, Copperberg's Mixed Fruits. Naturally, I didn't finish it off, but I do still want to have a decent cider tonight. And unfortunately, it is quite a sad occasion this time because I am down to my last review from the Dunkerton Cider Company. All those months back they uh, sent me that case of their 12 ciders, two of each to do, and I'm down to the last one to do. Which is just a really, really sad occasion because they are an absolutely amazing company and, you know, so far they've done no wrong. With that said, the final Dunkerton cider that I'm going to be doing is their Perry. Yep, their organic Perry, and that is the thing with Dunkertons. Every single one of their ciders is organically based, which um, is, you know, a thumbs up in my books. From traditional Perry pears grown in unsprayed orchards, pressed, fermented and bottled by Dunkertons, who were based in Pembridge in Herefordshire. Um, yeah, I just... Every single one of their ciders that I've tried so far has been absolutely divine. Their Breakwell Seedling, one of the best ciders I've ever tried. It's just absolutely superb. And of course their Black Fox, um, which is a staple of theirs and is just absolutely divine. Anyway, let's see what it says about their Perry. A delicious sparkling Perry made from organically grown Perry pears. Though rel relatively uncommon, the trees are easily identified in Herefordshire's orchard landscape by their great height and cascading white blossom. Some are over 300 years old. These mature trees can very often produce over a ton of pears. We press for varieties including Merry Legs, Red Horse, Moorcroft, Painted Lady and Thorn. Duncan's Perry is fragrant and delicate and should be served lightly chilled. And it's just started to actually chuck it down outside. Hmm, awesome. So, yeah, that sounds really cool. Um, I have actually heard of the uh, Thorn Perry Pear before, but none of the others. So, um, I don't know whether that means that all those varieties have gone into this uh, Perry, because it um, doesn't really specify that. But either way, I'm sure, well, fingers crossed, it's going to be a really, really good one. So, let's waste no more time. Let's get this top off the final Dunkerton's drink, shall we? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Mm-mm. Right, now then, I don't know whether it's because it has been sitting in my fridge for a little while, but I had a bottle of their Breakwell Seedling a little um, a few days ago, and it just frothed absolutely everywhere. Now, I've never known a cider to do that, apart from Brother Strawberry, which I will never mention ever again. Um, and that Perry was just on the brink of doing the same thing. However, the Breakwell Seedling still tasted fine, so I'm sure this one will as well. Let's go for a whiff test. Mmm, it smells uh, very medicinal, very uh, herbal, licorice-y, aniseed, slight, uh, slight perfume-y, floral aromas. Mmm, smells uh, quite deep. Oh, I forgot to mention, obviously this comes in uh, 400 ml bottles and it comes in uh, quite a hefty 7.5% ABV. So we're uh, hanging with one of the big boys tonight. So let's get it all uh, poured in this glass, shall we? There we go. Now I have seen some uh, sediment on here, but as you probably well know by now, I don't mind sediment in my ciders or my perries. Either or is fine. There we go, let's get that poured out. Right, so let's go for the colour test of uh, Dunkerton's Organic Perry, and as you can see, lightly sparkling. Um, no froth on the top at all, which is always a good sign. Um, yeah, quite, uh, quite a darker, strawberry sort of coloured Perry we have here. Um, most Perries are usually uh, quite translucent in colour, but this one does have a nice, um, nice bright yellow hue to it. Looks really good. Any more smells on the glass? Hmm. Not really. All the uh, all the flavours seem to have peaked out a little bit. I'm actually still getting remnants from that Copperberg, unfortunately, which is a uh, kind of destroying all the other smells. That's amazing. I, I thoroughly washed this glass as well after having it. That's incredible. Oh well, hopefully it's not tainted the taste. I'm sure it hasn't, but uh, yeah, let's do a good send off to uh, Dunkerton's on their final review from me. Well, for the time being anyway, I'm sure there'll be more in the future. Cheers guys, here's to Dunkerton's Organic Perry. Cheers. Hmm. Mm. 
That is a good perry. Mmm. Let's get a second opinion. Mmm. It's, it's amazing how cider companies can produce ciders or perries with, su with such a high ABV and yet it hides its strength so well. That is so smooth. It's, it's like liquid velvet as it's going down your throat. Um, and yet, despite all that, it is quite a dry perry that we have here. Um, not much acidity, but uh, it's quite tannic in its tastes. But uh, you are still getting a nice little uh, rough, oaky aftertaste um, as it's going down your throat. And it's got, um, it's left kind of a, a rough sort of chalky consistency, especially on the uh, top of my, on the uh, top of my mouth. Um, and yet, despite all that, it does still taste incredibly smooth. Mmm. Oh, that is dangerously drinkable. Mmm. Really, really top quality stuff. Uh, it's got a quite a quite a full-bodied um, consistency behind it as well. So, but not too not too heavy, which adds to the fact that it is just so easily drinkable, especially with its uh, high ABV. Um, yeah, once again, another top-notch drink from the Dunkerton's company we have here and a really really fine example of how you can make a really decent perry um, yeah I can't say much more let's go in for a final taste before a final verdict mm. oh I could drink that all night long I really really could uh, yeah I have seen this in uh, certain shops I've also seen it um, available in certain pubs around my area anyway, um, which is kind of rare because you don't... Um, I've not seen many Dunkerton's ciders available in pubs around my area. I'm sure that's different in other bits. But, I mean, if you do see it and you are kind of wondering what... If you've never tried a Perry before because they are a little bit more rare uh, than ciders, then um, definitely give this one a go because it is a very, very good example of what a Perry should taste like and not the uh, pear cider shits that you get from like Bulmers and Magnus and all that crap, which are in a completely different league. Don't even compare the two. They are so, so different. Try this and you, then you'll know what a Perry is supposed to take like, taste like. With that said, I am gonna go and give Dunkerton's Organic Perry an eight out of 10. Another fantastic drink for the Dunkerton's. And um, yeah, just a really good finish to my almost like a little mini series of uh, Dunkerton's reviews that I've done uh, in the last few months. So um, yeah, with that said, that is the last review that you'll see of me from uh, Dunkerton's for a while until they kind of release maybe a new a new cider or something. Um, but you know, as has been shown, I don't think I've given a Dunkerton cider below a seven out of ten. I'll have to look back on that, but that just shows you how good of a company they are. And um, they're easily like one of my favourite companies out there. For, to me, they just produce such amazing, amazing drinks. And I highly recommend you go out and try some of their drinks, uh, uh, some of their ciders, because they're just fantastic. But for now, that is another episode of the Cider or the Perry Drinker uh, today. I hope you liked it. And as usual, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider or perry soon. Until then, well, doesn't need to be said. I'm just going to sit back for the rest of the evening and enjoy this gorgeous Perry, cour uh, courtesy of Dunkerton's. Take care, guys. Until next time.